Hello and welcome to this tutorial on setting up AdMob for the Android side of your CoCars project using the Sonar CoCars Helper. If you haven't done already, uh, you need to have completed the Sonar CoCars Helper setting up video. If you haven't done that, I'll leave a link in the description, so uh, go check that out and then come back. And if you have already set up, you should already have this external CoCars Helper Android Frameworks folder. And again, if you don't have these, for whatever reason, I'll leave link description to both zip files. Um, okay, so we're going to get started and we're going to go to AdMob first. And I'm signed in, I'm on the Home tab. And we're going to click on Monetize New App. And you can, if your app is already on the Google Play Store or the iTunes App Store, you can search for it and add it that way. But mine's not, so I'm going to add my app manually. I'm just going to call this tutorial uh, RevMob and I'm going to give the platform Android and add app and you can choose either one of these, I'm going to be creating both uh, just to show off uh, banner and interstitials so I'm going to create a banner ad first and call this banner ad and click save and take note of the uh, unit IDs because we will be using them in a moment and I create another add unit for interstitials and just call this interstitial add and click save and I'm going to click finished now I've got the add uh, unit IDs there so what I'm going to do first is open up my project in Eclipse which is just the uh, the blank CoCars project being set up with the CoCars helper and just going to get rid of this error by cleaning there you go, it's gone Okay, and I'm going to open up this res folder and I'm going to go to values and I'm going to go to the sonar framework settings.xml and in here you'll see underneath these, in between these add mob tags, uh, two IDs that you can set your banner ID and your interstitial ID. So I'm going to go ahead and copy those in now. So that one's my banner. and if you have any white space at the end of your string make sure you uh, erase it and copy in the interstitial Oops. copy and again make sure for the white space and click save so we've got our IDs in now and I'm going to minimize Eclipse and add mob and I'm going to open up my uh, project folder and put that to one side and I'm going to go into the external CoCars helper Android frameworks folder and I'm going to go into frameworks and I'm going to copy AdMob and I'm going to paste it into my project.android folder source sonar systems frameworks and I'm going to hit paste and I'm going to close them out and I'm going to close the XML file and I'm going to refresh my project and if I expand the source you can see that the AdMob uh, framework is there you may have an error uh, at the moment but don't worry if you do because we're going to fix them now so while we're here we're going to go into settings and just make sure that you set uh, use add mob to true mine's already set to true but if it was false just make sure you set it to true and if you look onto the right side of that it said it, it requires the google play services library so that doesn't mean you need to uh, hit true here because this is google play game services not google play services so uh, we're going to get the google play services library now and link it into our project so 
if you don't know how to do this uh, and if you don't already have the Google Play Services Library downloaded, if you go to your Android SDK Manager and then scroll all the way down to the bottom, there will be uh, Google Play Services which you can tick and then click install and you can install it and once it's installed it will install to a location where you installed your uh, Android SDK and if you don't know where you installed your Android SDK if you look at the top you've got this SDK path so I know exactly where my SDK path is so I'm going to close that and now that you've got the Google Play Services library you're going to import it so we're going to click import existing Android code into workspace and I'm going to browse that SDK path that uh, it told me in the SDK manager. So it's not downloads. It is documents, um, development, Android SDK. So now I'm in the SDK and I want the Google Play Services library. And that is located in the extras folder and then the Google folder. And you see this Google Play Services uh, folder. So you're going to want to click on the lib project and then click OK and you'll see it's got the uh, correct project to import and then click on finish and now we're going to link it with our project so it's in our it's in our uh, uh, Eclipse but it's not linked to our project so we want to right click on the project go to properties and then click on Android and then if you click on this add you should see the Google Play service library uh, appear and click OK and you'll have a green tick next to it and last but not least we need the jar file of the Google Play services so if you go to Java build path and on this libraries you want to ha click on add jars and you should see the Google Play services library that you've imported and if you expand that go to the bin folder and there will be this Google Play services lib.jar click on that and then click OK and on the order and export just make sure it's ticked and click OK again and now we're ready to uh, sort out the manifest so you sh if you'd uh, copied done the setup video you'll have a manifest that looks like ours with all this stuff commented out as well so First of all, if you look at this required for add mob uh, chunk of code, you want to get the end comment tag here and just cut and paste so now this activity is uncommented out. And lastly, you need to have just this metadata tag. So if you get this uh, comment tag here, the end comment tag here, and just put it at the end of this meta tag because oops sorry about this okay so so you got this meta tag um, uncommented the one above it is for when we use the Google Play game services, uh, so we don't need that for AdMob. You just need the Google Play services version number, which is fine. So now we've done that, uh, you're actually ready to use RevMob. So I'm going to go into my Hello World scene. And I've already got uh, Sonar Frameworks included. If you don't, then include it. And I'm going to use the namespace uh, Sonar Cocos Helper just so I don't have to type it out uh, a million times. Uh, so, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show the uh, banner ads and I'm going to show one at the top and one at the bottom, not at the same time. I'm going to switch from the top one to the bottom uh, just to show that you can have different positions. And then once I've done that, I will show the interstitial full screen ad. So uh, if you're not using the namespace, so if you didn't add this namespace because it's optional, you would type something like sonar cocos helper and then admog and then show banner. 
and by default the show banner uh, ad shows at the top by default so we're gonna leave that as it is um, if you did use the namespace you could have just done something like you just basically the same thing just without the sonar cocos helper it's just a little less uh, code so I'm just gonna get rid of that one so show banner add uh, by default shows at the top when you don't pass through a position so what I'm gonna do is uh, instead of closing the uh, application when the button is pressed, I'm just going to change the banner ad to be at the bottom instead uh, using the show banner ad bottom function. So I'm going to type in ad mob and then see there's this show banner ad with an int position. So the positions you can actually just type in. Um, I forget what it's called now. Let's have a look. So I'll cook us help. Uh, it's called add banner position. So if you weren't using the namespace, you could just do add banner position, colon, colon, and then you could choose top or bottom. But because by default it'll already be shown at the top because we're showing it here, we're just going to change it to the bottom and click save and that should be enough to get an ad banner at the top and then be able to change to the bottom so I'm just going to switch over to the phone and show it working okay so the application has just launched and as you can see I've got a test banner at the top uh, yours will probably be a full on uh, it won't be a test banner basically because I've added my uh, test uh, device in the code and when I click the button the banner should go to the bottom if I can click the button again there you go and the banner is now at the bottom so that's how you can get banner ads in using AdMob into, Cocos, into your Cocos project and now I'll switch back over and do the full screen interstitials okay so now I'm back and I'm going to get rid of this code and what I'm going to do instead instead of showing banner ad I'm just going to show full screen ad when I click the button that is so when I click the button full screen ad should appear and yep so again switch back over to the phone and show it working okay so the application is loaded I'm just going to click the power button and there you go full screen interstitial appears again mine's a test one yours will be a real ad so hopefully this tutorial has helped you to get ad mob into your project uh, so yeah have a good day